Hello, welcome to Unit 2. And in Unit 2, we're going to be looking at embedding OERs within tests or content. I still remain your professor in Egwetion, Juliet Owajaji. Now, what is a learning outcome? By the end of this unit, you will be able to embed OERs when writing an online content. We're going to look at two examples here. First, let us assume you are to develop an online course titled Research Method. And for this course, you have the following lesson plan. This is the lesson plan you have prepared for this course. Now let's look at this. In here, we have the research proposal. That is the topic we are working on. And here we have the proud knowledge. I didn't give you the proud knowledge in the last sample I gave to you, but I would like you to integrate that proud knowledge in the assignment I've given to you. And what do we mean by proud knowledge? The proud knowledge is referring to the knowledge that the student have already acquired or the, the knowledge that the student is supposed to have acquired before coming to learn this particular topic. So that is why it's called proud knowledge. For example, you are dealing with research proposal. That is our topic. We are saying the student should have acquired knowledge in basic research methods or supposed to have acquired knowledge in basic research method, which means without the knowledge in basic research method, the student won't be able to work on research proposal. Now, if you walk through it, you have our learning outcome, our learning activities, the key content, pedagogical approach, and the learning resources. We are consigned here, the learning resources. And under that learning resources, what did we say is going to be? We say, oh, going to provide reading. And reading what? The reading has to be a research proposal. There you have the assessment. So what do you now do is to look for that reading that we have said is going to meet with the learning activities or research proposal. And in this case, you are saying, well, I want to look for this reading using an OERO materials. So all the techniques you have learned on how to search for a good OERO materials and the various licenses, this is what you bring it into play. You now go on to search for an OERO material that will suit this particular reading. Why are we saying it's embedded or integrated? If you look through the lesson plan, you see that we have the research sample, we have here, we have research instrument, we have writing a research report. So it means there are still other topics, but this particular material you want to look for is not going to cover everything in the topic. You are only consigned now with the research proposal. So when you get that particular material from the OER, all you need to do is to integrate it. In this instance, you may have been writing from scratch, but writing from scratch, you need some material that you need to integrate to embellish the quality of what you are writing. And that gives opportunity to the students to have access to what other persons have done in the same area. So what do we do now after now? Here is the content. And you're looking for an OER material now that is going to fit into this content. And you look at it, we have written a content. For example, it said, in everything we do, we think through, uh, uh, we think through before putting it into action. Then that is an introduction. And you come up here and you say, now click here. That click here to read, that is the second paragraph. I take it again, a well written research proposal gives direction of what the research intends to do and how it can be achieved. Now, click here to read the presentation or research proposal. So it means you are giving a direction to where you should click. You want them to go and read somewhere. So all you need to do is that the student clicks there and it takes them to where they need to do. But there's something else you need to have in mind. When you give such materials, ensure that there is an assessment that will come from that particular material. Remember, we have what we call formative assessment. 
when we are walking through our unit one, two, three, especially unit three, two, uh, I'm sorry, week two and week three. When we are looking at this assessment, you are going to bring it up to help the learner learn. And in this case, you discover that we have an assessment here and the answer is provided. But you know so well, if you are not taking it into the LMS, the answer will not be seen the way it is seen now. It's going to be integrated just the way you see what you do at the end of every week. You will have some assessment. You won't see the answer this way. So you have to bring it in. Now we're going to click on that click here and see what happens. Now we're going to click. Here is it. Can you see that that looks like a palm? If I click on it, if the internet is working, it takes you out straight to where it ought to be. Here we are. So this is what I have linked for them. And with this link, you see that we'll have everything here. And before I came, remember we have searched, and this is an OER material. So we cannot go back again. That is one way. Now let's look at the second method. The second method that we can use to integrate an OER. And we're going to look at the example we have in week three. You know, we have a complete lesson plan in week three. And here it is. So in this case, we have what we say we're going to do. If you look at that red box under the resources, we say we're going to have 10 to 15 minutes video on type of data required in educational plan. That is what we say we're going to have. So what have I done is to go and look for an OER video that we are going to integrate, we're going to give to the students. So in this case, remember I've searched and have found an OER material. So how do you integrate it? To integrate it, there are two ways you could use. First is to make it as a runner sentence. So if you look at the first bullet I have here, I said educational planner work with data. To be able to have adequate planning, you need to know the types of educational data required by educational planners. You see that particular place is in blue. So if I click on it, I take my cursor there to click, and I click. If I click here, it will take me to the video. Then the second way is to bring it up and in the, show the video where it will be. You see this particular box, the video will appear here. You will not say the video, you will not see the letter, but rather you'll be seeing the video and you click on it. So these are two ways you can embed your resources. You have done two resources. One was reading form, the second one is video. So now let's click on this and see what comes up. If the internet is working, you will see what follows it. Now here is my job is to make college easier because students have a lot on them. Sorry, it happens in videos and, and number of decks, so, number of chairs, number so of you teachers. Could see it. So also, we're is, talking about facilities and in this, in this video. We are talking about the is, equipment that will be required that will help to facilitate license. teaching. Still the creative common license. Now you talk that about school opportunity in this area of school. So that is it. It is my video anyway that I released out that I have, so anybody can use it, but you can reuse it the way it is. So these are the ways you can embed your resources. So in conclusion, there is a difference between using OER material as standalone and when embedding OER. As standalone, you are using the material for the course, but not as embedded. You are using it as a course. You use the whole material. You are only integrating a part of it into the course content and you are developing. That is where you are embedding. When you are embedding, you are integrating a part of it, not everything. But where you are by, you are using that as standalone. You are using the whole material to meet your lesson plan. The use of OER in learning content is guided by the lesson plan. So you must have your lesson plan before you start searching for your OER. Thank you for listening.